Hello and welcome, buongiorno e benvenuti to the italiancookingclass.com Giuseppe here again, thank you for joining us We've had a request on YouTube comments for a ragu sauce and a ragu sauce is of a meat generally that has been cooking for some time and bolognese is a ragu sauce and I'm going to do that uh, here today and the great thing about my ragu sauce is that you'll never look back at the ragu sauce that you made only because of the convenience and, and the simplicity of it and how good, quick and easy and it just gets so much flavour out of it. And we'll run through the ingredients very quickly. Have a look at these, we've got some red wine, carrots, onions, tin peeled tomatoes, mints of course, salt, garlic, tomato paste. We've used a cup of water to rinse out the tin, the remnants in the tin, and some olive oil. What I've done is I've peeled the onions and just cut them up in halves and I've cut the carrots in pieces and all I'm going to do is throw them straight in this food processor and mulch them all up, the onion, the carrot and the garlic all together and we're going to get this happening now till it all really right quite fine so a lot of the juices come out and actually flavour the meat so that's a really important thing and you get massive amounts of flavour from it so we'll just turn it on constantly push it down again, it's starting to get quite Water, see very finely. You right? See down in there how it's. Oh, the smell's coming up through here. It's magnificent. You can actually smell the combination of the onion and the carrot, the sweetness of the carrot, a bit of garlic. Fabulous. Getting nice and juicy now. Okay. That's great. We'll just get the pot out now. Well, um, basically, all we're going to do now is just mix the mince with the beautiful vegetables that we've prepared see how wet that is in there, it's just gorgeous and uh, we're just going to mix it up, we'll add a little bit of oil to that and some salt because again we do season every layer of course and we'll just mix that through and this way what we're actually doing is breaking up the mince as well because the mince can become a little bit lumpy so by mixing it through, oh, the smells are just coming up, beautiful. By mixing it through, we're breaking up the, the meat and we're getting an even combination of vegetable and meat together. And you'll have a look in here right now, you can see how it's one uniform colour and there's, it's even throughout. So that's really good. Now we're going to just cook that off a little bit. You can see it browning there very quickly. We'll put the lid on just to retain the heat and we can turn it down some. We've turned it down, we've put the lid on so that the actual heat is retained as well as the moisture and that way as it condenses it drops back down and gives it some cooking properties that it keeps it nice and moist as well as deglazing the bottom of the pot and that way not making the meat stick and every couple of minutes we'll give it a stir. This is our second stir, so simple, so easy and because of it we can inject it with all our good intention and love into it folks, it's all about the love. That is so very crucial, it's all about the love folks. The more love you give it, the more love you get back, really. Just like life. We'll mix that through, and now we'll add the tomato paste. We'll mix that through as well, and we'll let that cook sort of eight to 10 minutes once it's all mixed through. And then we'll add the red wine. So this process has taken all of about six to eight minutes to do. We just put the lid on, we'll let that cook off, stirring it every couple of minutes for about 8 to 10 minutes. Then we'll add the wine, cook it off till all the wine's evaporated, and we'll add the peeled tomatoes and off for about an hour or so. If you come in and have a look, you'll be able to see. I added the tomato paste and cooked it for about 10 minutes. Then I added the wine, and it's been cooking for about 4 or 5 minutes now. The wine itself has evaporated, and we'll keep it cooking for 2 minutes. Then we'll add the peeled tomatoes and some salt. Let's come in close and have a look. You see how it's quite moist and there's no wine colour but it's red from the meat. And we'll just give that a stir and you can see how dry that is. Now at this point, if you would like, you can actually let this cool and freeze it. And then thaw it out anytime you want to use it and add the tomato to it as we're going to do now. We're going to cook this off. We'll add the tomato in there as such. Mix that through together and evenly we'll add some salt because the tomato had no salt in it and we're going to add that water that I had before here's the water just to give it some cook time 
we'll get that to the boil and we'll turn the heat down and we'll just let that simmer for about an hour or so. This has now been cooking for a good hour and uh, you'll notice it's cooked, it has reduced some. We'll taste some, we'll put some in this plate. You can have this with anything. I used to love it on sandwich just for a, a snack, you know, and with some vegetables, bolognese and stir fry vegetables is the best, man. That is so nice, it's so sweet. The meat is very subtle, the beautiful flavours of the carrot, the tomato, so sweet, and the onion. It, mm. It's so simple. You saw what I did. Mulch it all up, add the mince, braise it off, add the ingredients, and done. Add any flavour you like to it, folks, but this is the way that we do spaghetti bolognese at the italiancookingclass.com. Thank you for watching. Like the video, share some love, folks. Comment, follow us on Facebook. We thank you for watching. I'm Mr. Giuseppe from the italiancookingclass.com. Arrivederci, buon appetito.